Just imagine this. A robot debating a human. That's what IBM's Project Debater is all about. And it made its debut in San Francisco yesterday afternoon. I'll roll that tape. We think that it's not that the government money won't help out if it were to be given. We just think it doesn't meet the criteria in comparison to other things. If I may put it a bit differently, subsidizing space exploration is like investing in really good tires. It may not be fun to spend the extra money, but ultimately you know both you and everyone else on the road will be better off. <laughs> well, well how do you like them apples? Yeah. Well, joining us now is IBM's Director of Research, Arvind Krishna, who joins us again. Would you take me through this, Arvind? Uh, you start out with a statement by the human person, and then I guess your robot learns from the human person and responds. Is that what's going on here? Uh, hi, good morning, Stuart. Definitely that's a piece of it. You take the statement, and then you construct a full-formed speech, and then either the robot or the human can go first. And when the human speaks for its four minutes, the robot listens and then forms a rebuttal to that speech in a way that's fully coherent, fully cohesive, and can persuade the audience. <laughs> that's pretty fascinating, I've got to say. Can you tell us who won? Was there a decision at the end of the night? Who won? Who lost? Well, like in all debates, I wouldn't say there's a win-loss, but we polled the audience, uh, the majority of whom did not, uh, were not affiliated with IBM, and the audience said that, by and large, the humans were better speakers, more persuasive, but, the, but our artificial intelligence project debater was more knowledgeable, and they learned more from project debater than from the human speaker. Arvin, what are you going to use this technology for in the future? I, I can see quite a few use cases. One, um, as we want the public to get more informed on, let's say, legislation, as well as the legislators themselves, they could use this to get uh, really informed the pros and cons of a particular position. Or a business executive, rather than using uh, people with their built-in biases, could use this to augment what they feel from their own experience and intuition to get and form all the pros and cons on a decision they're about to make. Can so I, really, I think, to augment decision-making. Well, could I have one in my home? Because I spend a lot of time, my free time, uh, debating with myself about the issues which I'm going to talk about next day on television. Could you modify this thing so I can debate the robot at home? Uh, absolutely, not just modify. It, we intend to deliver it as a cloud service, so you're spot on in being able to do exactly what you're describing. Really? You can, you're going to do this? I mean, I could literally get out of the cloud and bring it down and debate the robot. Uh, uh, correct. You, you could give the robot a position. Actually, you could just listen. You can give the robot a position, and it could argue both sides of the position, <laughs> so you can get the best arguments on both sides. Ooh, that wouldn't work. That just would not <laughs> work for me. Arvind, I'm afraid we're out of time, but that was fascinating. That really was. I can see the applications coming a mile off. Arvind Krishna, everyone, IBM's guy. We appreciate you being here, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.